They always talk about desire being the, one of the key ingredients. What is passion? What is desire? Those are sexual things. So how do they relate to business? They relate to business in the sense that you redirect that focused energy. And instead of getting on your phone and calling Amanda and saying, hey Amanda, what are you doing? Then when she hangs up on you, call Becky. Hey Becky, what are you doing? When she hangs up on you, you call Cindy. She hangs up on you. You call Denise. She hangs up on you. You get down to Yasmin and finally she'll talk to you. But you could spend two hours going through your phone trying to get a girl to hook up with. You could spend days, weeks, years because the sexual drive is the strongest drive. When you're on fire and you need a hole, you're going to go to crazy lengths to get it. And every man knows this. When you've got something, try not to be crude in this nice neighborhood. When you've got a piece on the line, you'll do anything to get there. You'll crawl through broken glass to get there and you'll do it with a smile because the sexual drive is the strongest drive that a man has. And if you spend all of your time trying to fulfill that particular desire, it doesn't leave time or focus for another path. It doesn't leave time or focus for anything else. But if you simply, in your mind, redirect that drive, use that same drive that you would use to go and uh, ravish Yasmin, if you use that same drive and use it to build your business, your business cannot fail because you're using the most powerful energy in the world, which is the sexual energy. When you're trying to build a business, it's going to take time and energy and concentration. And if your concentration is on something else, if you're spending your mental energy trying to get something else, something that doesn't give you prolonged benefits, because when you fulfill your sexual desire, it's all fine and games and fun, but it doesn't give you anything lasting. It's a short-term gratification. And what we want to achieve is a sacrifice of the short-term gratification in order to build something that lasts a long time. This is the concept of sacrifice. A boxer would sacrifice 30 days before a fight so that he could win the fight. A enlightened spiritual guru would sacrifice having an orgasm so that he can be closer to the divine or what have you. As a businessman, it is important to sacrifice the pursuit of the P and redirect that drive into building a business and maintaining a business. And you can always keep it in mind that the only reason men build businesses is to get more women. So you could put your energy into bagging out Yasmin right now, or you could put enough energy into making a lot of money so that when you call Amanda, she doesn't hang up on you. When you call Becky, she doesn't hang up on you. When you call Cindy, Denise, Erica, Frederica, they don't hang up on you. Not only that, they're more than happy and willing to uh, take your phone call. Let me put it that way. Like I said, it is the most potent drive that you have. And if you want something better in this life, it takes a short-term sacrifice for long-term gains. So just remember that when you're on a night out on the town, wishing you had money, wishing you had millions, billions even, wishing you had a yacht, wishing you had a harem, whatever you wish for, but instead of going out to build that and to get that, you're at the bar trying to pick up Little Miss Whoever. If you want more in this world, you have to sacrifice a little bit of the right now to get a long-term goal achieved later. And that is the power of sexual transmutation.